What's good guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well and today I've got a very good video for you all and that is sharing my experience when it comes to the driving test. So a year and a half ago, two years ago, so I met you quite late making this video but I just want to share my experience on how I passed my driving test, what helped me but also something when it comes to booking your tests and looking for earlier dates. I'll be sharing what you could be using, what tools you could be using because I made a video I think some time before where I kind of explain you could use this app to kind of help you with uh, booking your test and finding tests quickly. Now I'll be sharing everything in the video and before we continue please make sure you subscribe so you are all up to date in terms of my content I release but also turn the notification bell on because you don't want to miss anything. Without further ado guys let's get into the video. So my first thing I would like to share is when it comes to booking your test now we all want to you know book a test like from a month from now so when we're booking online we expect to see dates available all the time that is not the case when it comes to driving tests because 9 out of 10 they're always fully booked and you're left with months and months of gaps where you don't find a test and when you do find one it's probably like two and a half three months or even four months down the line and it can be quite frustrating because you want to get your license as soon as possible so I've got a solution for that and that really helped me during my time and that was using the testy app now this app what it does is you need to log in your information in terms of your driving your provisional driving license number your test reference number so once you have already booked a test already online you will have a test reference number you use this put it on the app and what the app does is it will ask you for three different locations where you would like to have your test and this will be three different centers you could have it in three different areas that are local to you that will help you and you're quite familiar with which makes it quite easier for you to do your you know driving lessons and you get to know the roads a little bit more so that really helped me during my time now the only drawback to this is that it's not free so you have to pay a membership i think for 12 months is about 11.99 or 10.99 i'm not sure what the prices are now but this is what i was paying at the time and i only made a one-off payment uh, once um yeah and it, it, it was there as well number two i would always recommend everyone who are about to sit their driving test is to please get enough sleep it's so important you need to be focused you need to be refreshed and you need to be really really on that on your focus mode on the day of your test because you've got to be checking out the signs making sure you know your hazards because you'll be tested on your awareness and your awareness needs to be on point and if it's not on point if it's lack of sleep it's going to really affect your test and the, and the result at the end of the day number three i would always recommend everyone to go over your weak points when it comes to your driving so one of my weak points when it came to driving was uh, big roundabouts. I was very nervous. I used to be, you know, I used to be very good at. Well, I wouldn't say I used to. I'm still good at. I, w I would always be confident. I would say, in uh, mini roundabouts and standard like normal roundabouts. When it comes to roundabouts, where we're looking at th you know, four lines or five lines, I was very, very, very nervous at the time, and I would get my instructor to go through with me. Even a week before my test, I was struggling, and I would ask my instructor to always go through with me at least those big roundabouts so that when it comes to my test I'm confident at it and luckily I did do it practice it and on my test day I actually had that scenario where the examiner took me in the uh, in the roundabout where we had like four or five lanes and I was like thank god I know what to do now so I was very I was taking my time I was being cautious of making I was being aware of everything around me and yeah really helped Number four, guys, I would always suggest to take your, you know, revision seriously as well uh, during the time of your test. Uh, it's really important because you will be asked a lot of questions and you don't want to be losing on silly marks just because you can't answer X, Y, Z. So, for instance, they may ask you, um, where would you find the information for tire thread? It's pretty simple. You will find this information in the vehicle manual book and it's important that you know this and if you can't answer these uh, questions the examiners are going to be like is this person really serious is it actually you know really prepared or not for this test so they will start to really think whether this person's ready to pass or not so you don't want to be making these silly mistakes yes a odd mistake over here and there is forgivable but if you are repetitive and you keep 
making mistakes when they ask you to show me questions or tell me how you keep making mistakes, it can lead to a big loss at the end of the day. It can affect your result also on the day. Number five is probably one of my important ones which I went through and that was to do as many mock tests as possible. I think just two weeks before my test I was doing a mock test every single lesson and I had like five, four to five lessons in that uh, two week period and every time I was doing a lesson so I was just making sure I always asked my instructors please bro get through the um, the mock test with me because I need to you know really be in that feeling that I'm in a test environment so make sure you do as many mock tests as possible and even a bit one before the test as well because on the day of the test you may have an hour or two to spend with your instructor which means you can go through that test scenario and then you're fully prepared and yeah that is probably one of the important things I think you should do try not to miss too many lessons before that before your test uh, try and do as many as possible but not overpower it too much we have too much information and you can't take it which will then you know, at the end of the day really affect on the day of the test as well. last but not least I'll probably say just be confident be uh, you know relaxed don't be nervous which you know is very important especially on the day of the test I'm saying this but on the day of the test I was nervous I was very I was okay with my instructor but when the examiner sat down and now that's a completely different you know person I'm not used to this person the examiner is not going to tell me or correct me on the mistakes I was, you know, on on the on the day they're going to be looking and observing my driving, so I need to be on my A game, and this can only happen if I am not nervous, I'm relaxed, I'm calm, and yeah, just be yourself and just you know, be uh, confident in your driving skills. If you need to take time to, to you know, do that, safety comes first, and at the end of the day, it's really about how safe of a driver you are on the road, and that's really what matters. And um, that is what's going to get you your license. So yeah, uh, that's personally from my experience. I hope you all, you know, it really uh, helped it with you in terms of what you need to prepare you for a test. Hope you liked the video as well. And if you did, guys, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and turn the bell notification bell on. As well. And that's it for me, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. And until next time. Peace out.